Greetings, this is Earthman, Origami's Living Soil, servant of the living God who reigns forever, and he is amazing. Uh, the ecosystem that he has set up is just incredible, uh, how plants and microbes have a symbiotic relationship and how they just work together. The plant uh, depends on the mycorrhizal and other microbes to um, you know, feed it and give it moisture and, and protect it from pathogens and stuff like that. And at the same time, uh, the microbes get 100% of their carb carbohydrates in, in the you know, form of sugars and whatnot um, from the plant. And so um, they need each other, and uh, that's the way God designed it. Um, today we're going to talk about oyster shell flour. Oyster shell flour is a high-quality soil conditioner that consists of 96% soil bicarbonate uh, and many other uh, micronutrients. Uh, ground oyster shell flour provides long-lasting and steady release of nutrients and also helps um, control the pH levels of your soil. Um, it keeps it from getting too acidic. Um, and now, um, you know, it helps also promote healthy cellular structure of a plant. It helps increase um, fertilizer uptake of the root system into the root system and uh, enhance soil tilth. Um, oyster shell flour is also helpful, helpful in creating um, active habits for soil microbes and compost piles and worm bins. So that's something to think about in your compost piles or if you raise your own worms to get your own worm, con uh, um, worm castings and all the other good stuff that comes from worms. It's very highly beneficial when plant Plant it with tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants, uh, and other plants that really need a lot of calcium, and just any plant, really. Uh, plants uh, use calcium to produce cell walls and root tips, and without uh, adequate uh, calcium, plants tend to become stunted and uh, have uh, fruit rot. Um, when calcium is taken up by the plant, it forms pectin, uh, the glue that binds cell walls together so a steady supply of calcium is what's necessary throughout a plant's life cycle to strengthen its vesicular, uh, vesicular structure and thicken uh, nice thick stems and build new cell walls and uh, growing tips. Um, if a plant has a healthy vesicular system uh, um, you know the plant is also able to take up more water and more nutrients and all the essential minerals needed to, to effectively grow properly, uh, resulting in a stronger, more disease-resisting plant. So I would highly recommend oyster shell flour, if anything, to control the pH levels of your soil and to feed your plant um, the calcium and micronutrients that it needs. Um, and calcium is an important part of your plant's um, uh, life cycle and uh, to produce healthy um, you know, healthy bodybuilding, um, nutrient-filled uh, fruit and vegetables and other stuff that you might want to grow in your, um, be it flowers, be it um, uh, medical grows or whatever the case is. So uh, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil, uh, hoping and praying. Uh, I'm going to start praying for my audience that watch these videos that you will be blessed this summer with amazing plants grown with microbes, rich soil, and God's love. And so that's it. And let's take a look at this. As you can see, it's, uh, you know, it's like um, a little thicker than baby powder, but, it's, you know, it's real easy to use, and there's uh, uh, lots of instructions online and on the box how to use it. So this is Earthband, Origami's Living Soil. May God bless you.